Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. X and Y are two coherent sources of waves. The phase difference between X and Y is zero. Initial phase difference is zero, generally. The intensity at P due to X and Y separately is I. So the intensity of this wave will be I here. Intensity of this wave will also be I here. The wavelength of each wave is given by 0 0.2 meter. The wavelength is absolutely the same. Intensity is the same. What is the resultant intensity at the point P? So we want to find the resultant intensity. So let us see what is the resultant intensity now. Okay, so the wavelength is given as 0 0.2. So let us see if uh, constructive interference is taking place or the destructive interference is taking place. We have to see. Um, let us see the path difference first of all. So path difference will be 6 minus 5.6 which comes out to be 0 0.4 meter and your wavelength is this. So for constructive interference the path difference should be equal to the integral multiple of wavelength. Let us verify is it happening n 0 0.2 and yes indeed n is coming out to be 2. It means like they are literally talking about the second bright fringe if it was a uh, interference pattern if we could we could have taken this as the slits and this was the screen here definitely this p point would be pointing towards the second bright spot and hence it is a constructive interference so the amplitudes are definitely going to add and intensity is going to become four times you see whenever the constructive interference is taking place or any interference it's just a1 plus a2 or a1 minus a2 now both of the intensities amplitudes are the same so it is a plus a it is 2a intensity is directly proportional to a square that is why the intensity is going to be four times the original intensity now there is no doubt about it another thing my dear students because like there is a limitation on the formulas that have been given to you so as per the interference is concerned ib is concerned only with two kind of things number one constructive interference number two is destructive interference so either the amplitude or the intensity will be zero or it will be 2a and 4i like in constructive interference the amplitude will be 2a intensity will be 4i in destructive interference the amplitude will be zero intensity will be zero straightforward so if we know this information definitely these two things were out of picture and you were already at these two positions if you were able to find that yes there will be a constructive interference there was no doubt about it the answer would be d only so this is how we can um, we can create our answer uh, in a quicker manner okay dear students this is professor Varun. please subscribe to the youtube channel to get more questions okay all the best bye